Good morning, good morning. Sorry about the traffic noise. Just out for a little walk. I thought it was time to uh, fill everyone in on where we're at, what we're doing, what's going on, and what our plans are. Now, if you watched last week's video, I was mentioning that we're uh, looking like we might have the money that we need to move forward. And it's true. It's come through. We have the money to buy the van. And the aim is a sprinter. Despite what I've said in other videos, um, I figure little rust spots, I can deal with it on the road, no problem. And I just want that extra bit of space. We just need it. And I'm thinking resale value as well. I was thinking of a Luton or something big and glary like that, which would be fun. But um, I'm also thinking resale in a year or two, I don't know. But anyway, today we're gonna pop out to, surprisingly enough, in my little hometown here, there's one for sale, but it's bright orange. Now, part of me sees that as a sign because our logo has got an orange van on it, hasn't it? Um, and that just happened by chance. So the kids have already seen a photograph of it. Sorry about the noise, motorbike's going past now. Um, the kids saw a photo of it and they don't like the colour. <laughs> so that's pretty much settled really. But I'd still like to go and have a look. It's in my hometown. It makes sense to go and see it, doesn't it? Uh, and it'll give us also, it just gets us started looking at vans and getting used to what we're looking at, what we're looking for, what we're getting for our money sort of thing. So yeah, we're gonna have a quick look at that. Then we're going over to our nearby city of York, where you saw us last time with the girls on the riverboat. And we're gonna take, uh, a trip to a place there's a guy I've spoken to he advertises on eBay and Facebook and he's got four sprinters in at the moment long wheelbase so we're gonna go have a look at those as well the only other thing on the horizon is we are planning another trip down to see grandma probably in a few weeks time so of course we'll take you with us on that we just want to go down there and spend some time with her because it's been a little while and uh, she's getting older and we just want to be with her more and I want to prepare her for the shock that we're going to be coming soon more permanently <laughs> when we get the van converted so with all that in mind once we get this van then yes there's going to be a full series of the conversion and then we're going to be moving forward with our trips out into France out into Spain and the YouTube channel will come back to life again much more than it has been doing recently. So it's gonna slowly start ramping up again as we go and look at these vans. The problem I have is I'm still working. I'm still working like full time. So we've got a limited amount of time um, because I'm trying to do it by a certain day to meet a friend out in Spain. And uh, I've got work on, I've got to convert a van. I've got to make the YouTube videos around doing that. Plus, you know, you might have noticed there's kids there that need feeding and looking after every now and then. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite intense. But my gosh, it'll be worth it in the end. So, yeah, that's basically where we're at. Right, I'm going to go see if the kids are ready. And we're going to jump in the little van. And we're going to head out and look at some vans and have a day out of it. See you in a bit. Guys, are you ready? I'm doing my hair. We're doing our hair. Both doing their hair. Right, okay. <laughs> Right, I'll get my uh, cup of tea and we'll get going. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13 year old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. Okay, tribe. Yeah. So guys, as I said earlier, this first one we're gonna look at is bright orange. What are your thoughts on orange? Yeah. Pardon? Orange. We're not keen, are we? Not really. Not really. Even though our logo is orange. 
I thought it was a sign, but maybe it's not for us, no. <laughs> anyway, it's a van to look at and learn and see what we're getting for that sort of money. Let's go. Okay, I believe we're just down here somewhere. I've never been before. been told we've got to go oh, back out of there and down here and I can see something very orange <laughs> ah, it's a form of TNT that's why Look at that thing, then. you think guys very orange isn't it right well should we have a look should we have a look in not to get too dirty. So, it's got deadlocks on here, which is a safety, a good safety feature. Not that one. We're getting there. That one, right. Can you pull the door, John? Will I do that? So I've got one hand on the camera. Right. Okay. Now, you going in? So, you can see it's a bit longer than Sally's, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Now, you see, we've got nice clothes on, but it'd be nice to lay John down there, wouldn't it, and see how far he comes. Yeah. But I think, basically, a bed, the back beds will go as far as that bit of paper there. Yeah. And so, maybe John there, me there and Ella up above maybe. What about the rest though? Because that's actually taking up a lot of space. Yeah, it does. It takes up a huge amount. Right, so this is interesting because for the money we're looking at, it's obviously seen a lot of heavy action here. Mm -hmm. ah, and there's rust coming through there, so we don't know what's underneath. Yeah. Not bad though. You want to sit up front and see what it feels like? Yeah. You getting in? Oh. oh, hang on. There. There we go. There is in this one, but it'll be taken out. Uh. <laughs> right, what do you reckon? Good. A lot more space, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Yes. But that would be a walkthrough there for you to get in the back. Kind of weird because that's got a rear view. Sitting. It's kind of funny because I'm not actually sitting on the wall. It's very hard to imagine. Well, it's nice to have a look and learn something. Yes. But uh, Is the... I'm not sure I could ever live with all these orange bits sticking out everywhere. What about you, kids? Not really. What are you looking for, El? Is that like a big compartment? Thing? That's a glove box. Yeah. Ooh, how big is it? I don't know, is it locked? Yeah. yeah. It's just normal size. There's a cup holder up on there, John. Oh, cool. Right, come on then, you two. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> right, do you want to jump back in the van? Yes. Right, does this feel small now? Yes, very tiny, tiny one. Tinky winky little van now, doesn't oh, it? Oh yeah, that's small. <laughs> Makes you wonder how we have a coat, doesn't it? Yeah, our bedside will really. literally almost see the entire van. Yeah. Well, Not really, I can see how we cope because we coped. Because we coped. <laughs> um, Right, cool. Well, we learned stuff there, didn't we, guys? Yes. We learned that orange is not the colour for us, I don't think, is it? No. no. Right, we're heading on to York now and we're going to probably go and get pizza first because a lovely customer of mine gave me a voucher to get pizza at Pizza yeah. Express so we're going to do that Pizza <laughs> place looks busy we don't do busy do we guys oh John's gone he wants to check that I'm, how I am on the barrier am I touching it yeah we don't fit in this parking space so I've pushed the bumper right up to a barrier it'll be okay that's fine 
fine, isn't it? Yeah. That's very nice here, but I would think. in there for my tastes. <laughs> we only went because we had the voucher for, uh, what's it, Pizza Express. But uh, it was nice, wasn't it, John? You enjoyed that? Yes. John had garlic prawns on his pizza, very nice. With the L there. <laughs> right, we're gonna go have a look at these other sprinters. Uh, and then that's us. I think we're gonna get some shoes for John, maybe. We'll go shopping, but yeah, that's it. sticks here wasn't expecting this I've messaged the guy he said to message when we were on our way and I did and he hasn't seen my message so I'm hoping he's here <laughs> I hope this doesn't turn into a bit of a rigmarole <laughs> it's locked I looked on Google Maps and it's in there great so he hasn't seen the message <laughs> yes all right the guy's an hour away, he's stuck in traffic near Halifax. Could have done with knowing that before we came down to the to his workshop, but okay. We are 10 minutes away from a shopping center. John needs some shoes, so we're gonna go and do that, I think. And maybe we could have a little dessert for after the pizza. What do you reckon, Al? Yes. It gets a thumbs up from Al. One hour later. All right, we'll see how this goes. Um, obviously, first of all, we went there and the guy wasn't there. He was an hour away. Then he's messaged while we were shopping. Successfully shopping, I should uh, add. We've all got new t-shirts. John got new shoes and stuff. Uh, much needed, ready for the summer. Um, but yeah, he's messaged me saying he was back and I didn't see it because we were in a shop. And then I've seen it 15, 20 minutes late. And I've said, all right, we'll come now. And he's like, well, how long will you be? I'm leaving now. So it's a bit, <laughs> we're not off to a good start with this guy. It just, you know, gives you that vibe of, oh, I'm not sure about this. Oh, I should have turned there. Right, I better put the camera down. I'm back. <laughs> right, we've made the right turn. Yeah, we'll see. He could be absolutely lovely and we could find the van of our dreams here. But also, it could be a bit like a bit of a scrapyard. I just do not know. Anyway, bear with us. I don't know if we were able to film in there or not, so I'll be uh, catching up with you shortly. Sprinters. Lots of sprinters. Okay. Well, that was all a bit frantic and didn't really go as planned. Um, I didn't film anything because the guy was kind of rushing to leave. Uh, nice bloke, actually. I think he's genuine. Well, he is genuine from what I could get. And looking at the vans he had there, they were nice. They were in very good condition. Um, we chatted enough that he explained where he gets them from. They come from a pharmaceutical company, so they're only used for transporting pharmaceuticals, so they've had no heavy use. It's just motorway miles, and obviously uh, carrying pharmaceuticals. So I'm assuming they have to drive them fairly carefully. <laughs> they don't have to shake them up and stuff. Uh, he showed us one van, and we all fell in love with it instantly, didn't we kids? Yeah. It was gorgeous. It was like, three and a half thousand pounds over our budget now the problem we have is he did have some other vans that were closer to our budget but they were just back now it looks like you're downgrading they were just the standard white long wheelbase sprinter no air conditioning a little bit more used but they were still in good condition he had nice vans but after seeing that other one Plus we liked the colour, it was silver. Yeah. Just a bit different to having a, a white one. Uh, after seeing that one, it feels like we're downgrading if we go for one of the white ones now. So the kids are convinced. I think I'm slowly trying to talk myself into it a little bit, but I just feel like after seeing that van, I've just lost the equivalent of about three and a half thousand pounds because it, I was, three and a half I wasn't intending on spending. 
but now seeing that van I can see why I would spend it because it was pristine not a speck on it not a dot of rust the interior of it when he opened the door all the metal work you could see looked like it had just come out of the factory it was pristine it didn't have been a knock or a bash anywhere now because I've taken on some extra work before we leave the country just because I couldn't resist it because it was a good job so it'd be good money good work it was meaning my time to get the van converted was shrinking massively so I'm trying to convince myself weighing it up there if I'm working more I'm making more money which helps cover the cost of spending more on the initial van and there's no denying that the base vehicle is the most important thing when it comes to doing the van conversion we can always upgrade solar panels at a later date we can upgrade battery packs at a later date we can upgrade anything on the van at a later date the only thing we can't upgrade is the van itself so if we start off with something that we know is as close to new as you can get for a second-hand Mercedes uh, Sprinter I would feel very confident and very happy and I like the idea of being in the south of France in stinking heat with the windows up and air conditioning on. <laughs> I personally think it's a fair idea because you said you would like have a job that will give us some money. Yep, that's true. We'll be earning money while we're out there eventually. I think I'm basically convinced. I just need to have a bit more thinking time on it. Unfortunately, the guy was in a rush and he had to leave. Um, but he's turning them around very fast. They're selling like hotcakes, it seems. He takes them in there from the pharmaceutical company, puts them through their MOT, does it fixes anything needs fixing. He gives them all a machine polish all over, but it was a gorgeous van. I don't want to go for a simple white one without air conditioning now. What have we done? I can't believe we saw that. <sighs> I mean... I think you should do it. I mean, I was also kind of sceptical, but I mean, we are kind of, you know, living it forever. That's it, Al. It'll be our home. So you're right. We want a solid home that's not going to let us down. Yes, we're eating ice cream. We had to come and have um, a thinking ice cream. Anyway, I've talked enough there. We're going to head back home now. I'm going to cook some Thai food tonight. That's lots to think about. Lots to think about. Okay folks, I hope you can hear me clearly. It is incredibly windy and it is about a week after last time you listened to me waffling on in the van there to you. I do apologize for that. My head was completely fried with vans and with money. And uh, to cut a long story short, look what we got. Very excited. So, this is the one that was from that guy we went to see that I was just talking about just not so long ago. And uh, it's incredible. It's I paid over the, what I wanted to pay. Um, there was VAT on there, but it was just the confidence of going with someone who was more of a dealer than just a private sale. And it's in such good condition. Let me show you around. <laughs> wind much better you can probably hear me better it's humongous what do we think kids yeah. it's big. this is the one that we all fell in love with and I undernard I spoke to friends in similar positions buying vans at the moment or who have bought vans and ah oh, just thought long and hard about it for about a day and I contacted the guy and I went back to see him and basically said yeah all right we'll have it and, uh, and then it, we had to wait a few days to pick it up because he wasn't available. And then we went and picked it up and we got it home just uh, two days ago. And it's been raining, so we haven't been able to film it. So I thought now was the time to show you guys. So we've got loads of ideas. What we want to do, I've been having the measuring tape out down here, figuring out where beds might go, where the kitchen's going to go. It's going to be fairly standard, uh, a uniform with a lot of the factory built vans. Um, but we'll be showing you that later. We've got the bulkhead to take out here. We've got a ramp at the back, 
which will take out and sell just to get rid of it. But you can see here that uh, the metal work, it's pristine, it's like new behind these panels. It's like new behind there. So we could not be happier. So there we go. We did it after, well, what, I don't know how long, thinking, dreaming, planning, working really hard, putting money away, scrimping and saving, we're there. We have the van of our dreams and we are gonna start the conversion. Big conversion series coming your way very soon. I still have to work. We're working for quite a little bit longer before uh, we leave this country. And uh, I've got to convert the van and do the YouTube videos. So it's gonna be quite intense. So I won't promise one every week, but we're gonna try and get you a video every single week now. And we're gonna take this thing a lot more seriously now with the YouTube. It's been fun up till now, it's been growing, we love it. It was always with the purpose of trying to get us somewhere one day and being able to earn a little bit from it. Now it's getting serious because we're gonna leave and it's gonna be possibly along with some affiliate marketing and other things I'm looking at, it's gonna be our only real source of income. So with that said, please, if you haven't liked and subscribed and shared already, do it. If you want to help us out, if you want to watch us go traveling in this van, if you want to watch the conversion uh, in enabling us to go on the road and for me not to have to work doing the work I'm doing now, fitting kitchens, we need your help. So please, it's completely free. Hit the like button, hit the like button. Tell some friends, share it on Facebook. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is going to help us. We, at the time of this video, are about 700 subscribers. We've just got to hit 1,000 and uh, 4,000 watch hours and we will get monetized. And once we're monetized, we start earning a little bit from YouTube. It will not be much, but in a year or so, it's gonna help to pay for some food, uh, some food and some fuel, and it's gonna really help us along our journey. Um, I will tell you all a lot more about that in the future. I'm not begging, I know it sounds like it, but we wanna do this. We're gonna make this our life, our reality, and you can help us with that. So anyway, for now, Welcome to the new van. We will see you in the next video where we're gonna start looking at the conversion. What do we say, kids? Yay! <laughs> so, see you for now. We'll see you hopefully next week with the first of the conversion videos. Take care.